Welcome back to Triple R, Random Work Reviews. Uh, I did a deck profile for Versus System uh, Underworld. Uh, had my Versus cards out, so you, you know what? Let me do the Revenge Squad. So this deck is a lot of fun to play. Uh, re kind of uh, revolves around ongoing plot twist. So let's check it out. Alright, I only have one one drop for this deck, which is Hope, and it comes out one, that's fine. Uh, it's a lot of characters in this deck. On two, you have Terraman, it's pretty important to the deck, so you want four of. Two Atomic Skulls, with terrible stats, but a great effect once you get your uh, ongoing plot twist out. Uh, one Natasha Irons. Mr. Mitzplex, who becomes free over and over again. Two Satanus. So, pretty bad defense, but being six, he can upswing pretty good. Mongol. And a Parasite. And Silver Banshee, whose effect. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen go off, but a couple of power elite armors. Not great, but flight and range. Four drops, two live wire, two maxima, and two metallos. But so you got this one deals with equipment. And I'm telling you, it has some burn on it. For five, we run Lex. And Hank Henshaw. For six, we run Brainiac 2.5, who has the ability, well, should have the ability, just to kill out their six drop. Doomsday. An eradicator. So usually done by turn six. But if not, seven, we have Zod. Brainiac 13. And Indigo. Um, I do run one location. So reason for only one location, you really want ongoing plot twists. Not a location in your resource room uh, for non ongoing. I still hate magic, flying kick, and three future shot. And for ongoing, three revenge pact, four battle for Metropolis, which is pretty much key. Get a couple of these out, and you're, you're rolling pretty good. Hungarian Invasion, also pretty good. Unmasked. Blood in the Dark. Imprisoned in the Source. Bizarro Ray. Standoff. Political Pressure. Oh, so two Bizarro Ray. Never in battle. Hostile takeover. Two death of Superman. Hostage situation. And I actually run New Mutants. Oh, there you have it. 